Waxahachie police looking for those responsible for damaging hundreds of gravestones inside the city's historic cemetery. Aaron Jones talking to city officials tonight who say this is by far the worst case of vandalism the city has ever seen. A year ago, Marlena Salazar lost her dad. He was a beekeeper, and her family worked very hard to create a beautiful gravesite, paying tribute to that. We meet up once a month, and we we spend time with him. And then to come here and then see that, and even the kids, like the kids were with us, and they saw. They're like, "Why do they do this to Grandpa?" Monday morning, she found her father's gravesite destroyed. I just don't understand why. Like, what benefit do they get? And not just my dad's, but. The older ones at the Waxahachie City Cemetery, which has been here since the 1850s, close to 300 gravestones are damaged. Police now looking for those responsible. They believe this occurred sometime between last Saturday and early Monday morning. It's truly devastating. I have never seen. It looks almost like um, a tornado went through the cemetery. Several of Peggy Crabtree's family also buried here. Some of their headstones damaged as well. She's the chairman of the Waxahachie City Cemetery and says this morning they discussed repairs. Please don't come out and, and just start working. The tombstones are big. They're heavy. Because we're still trying to figure out you know, how exactly the best way to repair them is, and we're leaning on expert advice for that. Many of these headstones are more than 100 years old, so repairs are expected to be difficult and expensive. The city has a website set up. People can please donate money if this touches your heart. I'm hoping that, first of all, whoever, whoever did it knows just how much they messed up. You know, it's not, it's not fun. It's not funny. We hope they know that what they did hurt. In Waxahachie, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News. Let's hope they find who did that.